Apache Kafka supports reliable message delivery for both producers and consumers. It gives you a choice. You can choose the reliability guarantee which works best for your use case. From uh, unreliable at most once messaging up to at least once or even exactly once delivery semantics. And in this episode, we will look at how to configure brokers and producers for reliability. When creating Kafka topics, users can specify the replication factor. The replication factor defines a number of replicas the topic and its partitions should have. One of the common choices is to use free replicas. But replication alone does not guarantee anything. Kafka brokers will be trying to replicate the data from the leader replicas, where the producer is sending them, to the follower replicas. But by default, the producer is configured with the X option set to 1. And that means it does not wait for the messages to be replicated to the follower replicas. It will only wait for the messages to be received by the leader replica. It sends the message to the leader. The leader stores it and sends the acknowledgement to the producer while it is still replicating the messages to the other replicas. It can easily happen that the producer is sending new messages to the leader, but the replicas do not manage to sync all the messages. For example, because the network is too slow or the other brokers have a lot of load from other topics and so on. So suddenly, some of the messages might be only on the first broker where the replica leader is. And when something happens and you lose the broker, you might lose the messages as well. Or you might need to wait for the broker to be back online to recover them. Which one happens depends on whether the messages were already written to the disk and whether you have unclean leader election enabled or not. In order to avoid this problem, we need to properly configure the topic and the producer. First, we need to configure the producer and set the X option to all. You can also set to minus one, which has the same meaning. That tells the producer that it should not wait just for the lead replica to confirm the message. But with this setting, it will wait for all the replicas which are in sync to confirm that the message was successfully replicated. Second, we need to configure the minimal number of in-sync replicas. This is a configuration of the topic. It tells the Kafka brokers how many replicas need to be in sync in order to accept new messages from producers. When the producer now sends the message, it will be first stored on the first broker and replicated to the other replicas. And only once it is safely replicated, it is acknowledged to the producer. This way, we know for sure that the messages are not just on the lead replica, but also on the other replicas. And if we lose the leader now, the messages will be still available. The minimal number of in-sync replicas should normally be smaller than the total number of replicas the topic has. Thanks to that, the client can still produce messages even when one of the brokers is down. For example, during rolling updates or when you are experiencing some hardware failures. Having replication factor 3 and min in-sync replicas 2 is a combination which is used quite often. But you can of course adjust it to your requirements and your environment. When the Strumzy operator does the rolling update, it will roll the brokers one by one. It will restart one broker, wait until it starts again, and resyncs all the messages it missed. And only once the replicas are back in sync, it will move to the next broker. That way, the topics should be always available even when rolling out new changes to your brokers. And your Kafka client applications should be able to work without any interruptions. The replication factor and the minimal number of in-sync replicas can be configured on a per-topic basis. You can specify them when creating the topic using the Kafka tools or in the Kafka topic custom resource used by Strimzy. You can also set the defaults in the broker configuration. The default replication factor will be applied to all auto-created topics in case you have topic auto-creation enabled. The default minimal in-sync replica setting will apply to all topics which do not override this value. I hope that this episode helps you to properly configure your brokers, topics, and your Kafka producers, and make sure that they are really reliable when you need it.
It also helps to make your Kafka cluster and applications more resilient to failures or rolling updates. Reliability in consumers is a bit easier. It is mainly about how and when you commit the messages you are processing. It does not require any special configuration in the Kafka brokers or topics. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to follow us on Twitter to make sure you don't miss the next episodes or any other Streamsy content.